Cal Poly football's losing streak on the road reaches eight games. I'm Andrew Masuda with your KSBY Cal Poly Sports Minute. The Mustangs dropped the opener of their five-game road trip last weekend. Cal Poly fell at Texas State 21-12. The Mustangs compiled more total yards of offense than the Bobcats, but Texas State had a few big plays that were the difference. Fullback Jordan Yoakum rushed for a career-high 145 yards in the loss. Cal Poly dropped to 20th and 22nd in the major FCS polls as a result. The Mustangs will look for their first road win since October 2008 this weekend. Cal Poly will play at 17th ranked McNeese State Saturday at 5 in the first ever meeting between these two programs. The Cal Poly men's soccer team continues its three-game homestand this Thursday against Loyola Marymount. The Mustangs played to a scoreless draw last week against 17th ranked UCLA in their home opener. The Mustangs outshot the Bruins 22-11. The match was played in front of 8,717 people, which was the 10th largest regular season crowd in NCAA history. Cal Poly has now played in front of six of the 16 largest crowds of all time. The women's soccer team has evened its record to 4-4 four four non-conference matches. The Mustangs routed Weaver State 4-0 over the weekend. Four different players found the back of the net in the victory. The women start a five-game road trip this week. Friday at Pepperdine, followed with a match Sunday at San Diego State. The volleyball team is riding an eight-match winning streak headed into Big West play. The Mustangs won the Aggie Invitational hosted at UC Davis last week before sweeping Cal State Bakersfield in their home opener to finish the week a perfect 3-0. That win over the Roadrunners was John Stevenson's 100th with the Mustangs. He's just the third head coach in Cal Poly program history to reach that milestone. The Mustangs open conference play Friday at UC Irvine, followed by a Saturday game at Northridge. And with this week's KSBY Cal Poly Sports Minute, I'm Andrew Masuda.